Hello, welcome to my new series, which is on 30 basis of biostatistics. First video, I'm Omar Amin Mohammed from the Department of Biological Sciences, Bochester University, Ghetto. Now, um, biostatistics as a word is a combination of two words, which is called a portmanteau of biology and statistics. Now, basically, biology is the science of life or the study of living things, while statistics is the science uh, which deals with collection a classification tabulation of numerical facts as the basis for explanation description and comparison of phenomena this definition is, um, is, is the quotation of um love it and um, so if you combine these two words biology and statistics then you roughly come uh, with a definition like this which is um the science and art of collection compilation presentation analysis and um, logical interpretation of biological or biomedical data most of which are influenced by multiplicity of factors. So, um, biostatistics therefore deals with development and application of most suitable techniques used for the following. In biology, you are always interested in collecting data because without data, you can't produce the results. And um, biostatistics is usually just results driven. Now, how do you collect the data? What are the techniques you use in collecting data? This is what you are interested in. And um, if after collecting the data, how do you present the collected data? There are various formats of presenting uh, data that is collected. Now, after collecting the data, then you have to analyze the data. And if you analyze the data using various techniques based on the kind of data you are using, then you interpret the results. And um, after interpreting the results, then you have to make uh, decisions on the basis of such analysis, which usually leads to conclusion and um, publication. So, uh, do you actually need the help of a statistician? Of course, if you are carrying out a, a research study and um, that is um, related to uh, life science, you need uh, the help of a statistician. So, now, a statistician can be helpful in the following ways design of the study before you even carry out a, a study you have to design it you have to have your conceptual framework and um sample size and power calculation you have to know the samples you are going to collect because there are some certain number of samples that will give you basically give you a wrong conclusion and um how do you select the samples and how do you select the controls within the samples because you can't just uh most especially when you're doing experimentation can just get samples without control, and you have to decide which one is a sample and which one is control in order to avoid what's called bias. And um, then designing a questionnaire. When you, uh, when you don't just design a questionnaire without an input of um, a statistician. Then how do you manage the data after collecting the data? And then the choice of um, descriptive statistics and the graphs to be used. There are various uh, descriptive statistics and there are various types of graphs. So the kind of data you're using will determine uh, which uh, one you're going to use. Then application of uh, univariate um, ana analysis, which is basically when you're dealing with one variable or multivariate analysis when you're dealing with uh, more than one uh, variable. And um, these are all statistical analysis techniques. Now we've been talking about the word data, data, and data. So what's data? Data is an information, data is a raw fact. In fact, data is the raw material for statistics, which means without data, there wouldn't be any statistics. We may also define data as figures, and figures result from process of counting or taking measurements. Now, there are various sources of data, which include records, mostly records kept in the hospital, kept in the hospital, records in banks, records in schools, records in gene banks and what have you, or it could be external, which means the question you are asking, someone has asked that question and you had made publication and you correlated that particular uh, answers to what you want and um, surveys when you are basically just using questionnaire or schedules or experimentation when you are controlling some certain uh, variables to see how they respond. GSC, so don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.